Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to show you some of the work that I've been doing. Um, this is uh, a two ounce rocket here. Um, I've been testing a few of these. It's actually a little bit bigger than a two ounce rocket. Um, the inner diameter of these are a three eighth of an inch and they're about four inches long. Um, so, and the spindle, I'm not, I don't have the spindle length off the top of my head, but here's a spindle. Um, now this tooling was made pretty cheaply, uh, just from some uh, stuff that I got from the uh, you know the hardware store. Um, I went to Lowe's. I picked up a three inch, three eighth uh, inch aluminum rod and then a quarter inch brass rod. Um, so the rammers are three eighths of an inch, and then that spindle. I threw that on the lathe. Um, you could put it probably on a, a drill press or even a drill in a vise, and just put that taper on uh, the spindle. Um, I have a lathe here, so I was able to knock a hole through this one, um, which goes all the way through to keep that vacuum from happening. Um, it's not, you know, not super, super clean. It's just a prototype to see if I can get these things to fly, and then, um, then I'll, you know, make some t tooling that looks a little fancier. Um, but yeah, so this rocket, I've tested the fuel and the tooling and the uh, dimensions of the rocket by themselves uh, with a dummy header. And so this is going to be the first one testing with um, an actual effect on top. This is just a two inch uh, ball shell with uh, granulated black powder break and then some D1 glitter stars. Uh, I think these are half an inch. Um, so yeah, they're a little, definitely a little big for this shell being only two inches. But the only pump I have is, uh, or the, the only plate, star plate that I have is the half inch. So there's also some... Uh, popcorn glitter stars back there so I'm kind of limited on chem so I'm stuck to just you know Kano 3 metals and and charcoal for right now um, but yeah so this pink fuse I have a uh, it's just a fast quick fuse um, not like quick match or uh, anything like that but I mean it does burn pretty fast and that's just got a little bit of visco on the end um, and I have the fuse inserted all the way into the uh into the rocket um and i don't know if it's supposed to go all the way in or if it's just supposed to be at the beginning but um, i've gotten good uh results so far with just pushing that thing all the way up in there uh, i think it just helps the you know the whole fuel grain ignite at once um so these are some of the tubes that i make these are just hand rolled tubes with uh, uh you know grocery store bag rolled out um cut into strips and then I take uh, wood glue and a very minimal amount of water and apply that with a paintbrush roll these on the aluminum rod and let them dry um, I did take a little bit of super glue I can't really see it too well I did take a little bit of super glue though and uh, super glued the ends of these um, one last time I was making rockets I was having the tubes here mushroom out at the bottom um, you know, against the wood. So the last one I did, this one, um, was the first one I put the super glue on. And let's see, let's see if we can better. Okay, yeah, see it's it's actually held up. It didn't mushroom out really too much at all. So um, I think I might start doing that. Maybe that'll help keep the uh, ends of these babies from catching on fire too, I don't know. Um, but I'll hopefully be able to shoot this off tonight. This one, um, I was just fucking around and I put a little bit of uh, spray shellac on this just to give it a nice gloss and uh, make it smooth. So I don't know if I'll do this. It's, it just seems kind of tedious to do this on every tube. But yeah, these aren't even that, not even that thick. Um, maybe, maybe a little over a quarter of an inch thick. Um, but I mean, I can't even, I can't even push these, squish these with my finger. Um, I haven't had any of them burst or rip open so um but yeah the uh the total weight of the shell i believe was about 40 grams um the test that i did i believe that was about 38 grams so this is a little over um you know what i've put these rockets up to as far as the payload weight but i'm hoping and uh I'm thinking that it will be able to get this off the ground. Um, I did make this rocket a little longer and added a little bit more uh, fuel in this one. So 
If it doesn't work, I could speed up the fuel, uh, ball mill it or something like that. But yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. I should be able to get this done in uh, a few few days.